What is up YouTube, ABI back with another video. Today we have a 2017 Lexus RX 350. We're gonna be giving you guys a full review on this car, but before we get to it, please make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, we'll get right to it. So the Lexus has introduced the RX all the way back since 1999. This current 2017 Lexus RX 350 is generation four, which went all the way from 2016 all the way to 2022, where in 2023 they began the Gen 5. This is one of the most popular luxury SUVs on the market. Other competitors include BMW X5, Audi Q7, and the Acura MDX. Starting now on the exterior, we're gonna start with the most polarizing thing about the Lexus RX 350, is that huge front grille, uh, pretty similar to their competitor BMW. You know, they love their huge grills uh, to get everyone to notice them. Uh, so Lexus has done that as well. They also integrated the front sensors into the grill really well, as well as these LED is now standard in 2017, LED headlights, as well as your LED fog lights. You can get an option three uh, LED lights inside of this headlight, uh, but this particular RX 350 is not equipped with those. So the Lexus RX 350 is 192 inches long, which actually is on the same platform as the Toyota Highlander. Uh, to put this into perspective, the Tesla Model Y and Model X are actually 198 inches, so about half a foot longer than this RX 350. Coming on now to the wheels, uh, the wheels come standard with 18 inch tires. You can actually off option a F Sport uh, trim to this Lexus, which gives you uh, options with bigger rims, 20 inch standard on the F Sport, um, as well as you can get that all wheel drive or rear wheel drive, similar to the RX 350. Other things that come with the F Sport trim is appearance packages, a little bit more sporty look, as well as dry, different drive modes that you're able to select and a little bit different driving feel, a little bit more sporty. Another design cue of the Lexus is this floating roof line design, which a lot of the newer uh, models are coming out with nowadays. Basically what this means is that the C pillar and the roof are not connected at all. So this looks like kind of like the roof is completely floating. Um, other cars that have been doing this is the Honda Odyssey, the Nissan Murano, the Toyota CHR. Coming standard on the Lexus is a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated V6 with 295 horsepower in an eight speed automatic. This particular Lexus RX 350 is equipped with the all wheel drive option, um, but you do not have to option that to the RX 350. It also comes standard with rear wheel drive. Um, the starting price on the all wheel drive model, which is this, is $46,000 uh, without options. Um, but if you option without that all wheel drive, it is $3,000 cheaper to about $43,995. One of the other engine options that you're actually able to get is a hybrid, a um, little bit bigger engine it comes on the Lexus RX 450. It's able to get a hybrid, which goes, increases the mileage Per gallon from 28 city 31 highway up from the 20 city 27 miles per gallon on the highway on this particular rx 350. stepping on now into the interior and this is where the lexus really shines um, as soon as you get in you notice the fit and finish is just really nice and you can tell you're in a lexus rather than one of those other competitors like you know maybe a, like the toyota highlander for instance um, the, the materials that they use are just really top notch um, super soft touch leather even the up here is a little bit little bit harder leather uh, but still nice the steering wheel is wrapped leather also comes with heated steering wheel which i know is a big a big plus to a lot of people um, not too much hard touch plastic obviously up here is a little bit plasticky uh, but it's still really nice the seats are super nice well bolstered um, heated seats as well um, you could just definitely tell that you're inside uh, a luxury suv all right now in the driver's seat you can see the steering wheel i do love the design of the steering wheel. I think the F Sport, let me know in the comments below, does have a flat bottom steering wheel as opposed to the circular steering wheel. So that would be a big plus for me, uh, something unique. Coming on now to the gauges, they're very typical, nothing digital except for that small center screen which shows miles per gallon um, and other issues like tire pressure and things like that, that'll show up. But other than that, these are definitely still um, analog, um, which I don't necessarily have a Zonk on, especially since it's 2017. Um, Coming on now, this is another big selling point for Lexus, a 12.2 inch display, uh, which at the time was huge, and but now with, with all the electric cars and all the new technology, all of these buttons have been replaced by one big screen. Um, you do get that signature Lexus clock 
which I believe they stopped have stopped doing since. Uh, let me know in the comments below. Um, but I definitely think this is still pretty good uh, technology, especially for 2017. One feature that this RX 350 does come with is Lexus's remote touch system, which is basically a little mouse here, which you can use to control the center screen um, and do various things such as move the mouse, move the um, map around. If you hit menu, you can go to different um, features that comes with the, the Lexus in form. Um, but a lot of Lexus owners have complained that this is much diffi very difficult to use as opposed to just a normal if this thing was touch screen. Um, but I know they have gotten rid of this in, in the new gen, Gen 5. Other features that this particular RX is equipped with is uh, lane keep assist and lane departure warning, which will actually vibrate the steering wheel when you start to leave your lane, as well as adaptive cruise control, which nowadays is pretty standard, but in 2017, it was, it was definitely a good feature to have. So what are my final thoughts on the 2017 Lexus RX 350 and the Gen 4 uh, RX 350 as a whole? My personal opinion is it's a great uh, car, especially if you're on the used market. Um, not only does this car have that Lexus reliability that is very highly praised, uh, but it also comes with four-wheel drive as an option. And it's relatively affordable in the used car market, especially compared to those competitors of the BMW X5 and the Audi Q7, as we mentioned. Uh, other things to know is it is a perfect size. A lot of people have lots of headspace, um, tons of trunk space, and definitely super reliable um, and super practical. So I think definitely a big uh, buy on the used car market if you're looking for something with those. Uh, so yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys are staying tuned for the next couple of reviews that we have coming up. And yeah, make sure to subscribe, smash the like button, and just like that, ABI out.